Hey guys, Robbie Webster here, and today I'm going to be doing a Blu-ray and DVD collection update. And before I do these updates, I like to give shout outs to some of my friends, usually one or two people. This time I'm just going to give it to one person, and I really hope that you guys will go and show him some love because he seems like a really nice guy. His name is Jacob Beals, and I just recently found his channel. He makes videos about a lot of different things, and one of those things is movies. And he, he knows what he's talking about, and he's, he's fun to listen to. And uh, I just really recommend that you go check him out and just treat him nice because he seems like a really good guy. And it'd be cool if he could make some good friends here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get started with this update. The first thing I have here is Breaking Bad Season 4, which I just posted an unboxing video of, so you can click here to see that. And yeah, this is just an awesome TV show. It's my favorite show that's on TV right now. And it's about a guy, basically this is how the whole thing started. He was a chemistry teacher at, at a high school. He was an underappreciated genius pretty much as far as chemistry goes. Um, he, he was a family man. And he ends up getting diagnosed with cancer. And he really just feels like he's going to die and leave his family with nothing. So he ends up meeting certain people that give him the idea to start cooking crystal meth and selling it to build up a, a sum of money to leave for his family in case he dies. And that's how the whole thing starts. And it stars Brian Cranston, and he's just an amazing actor, one of the best actors out there, one of my favorite actors. And um, I'm, I'm really glad that he's found some success in this series. He can play a wide variety of roles, and I really like him. If you haven't seen this show yet, you definitely need to check it out. And the next thing I have here is a, a pretty recent release that I actually saw in the theater. As you guys know, I did an Around the Town video. You can click here to see that. It's The Grey, starring Liam Neeson. And this movie is about a man who, um, he has a job working for an oil company. And what he does is he protects workers when they're working outside in the elements. He protects them from wild animals. Um, he's a sniper and he will... He will watch for any wolves or other predators that might try to attack some of the workers and he will shoot them down before they have a chance to do so. And um, this movie's really good. There's a, there's a plane crash pretty early in the, in the movie and the survivors of the, the movie is basically about the survivors trying to get to safety and they're being hunted by a pack of wolves. And the, the plane crash scene is just one of the most traumatic horrific scenes that I've ever seen. It was really, really well shot. Um, I, I really, really like this movie. Um, I, it, it, when I first watched it, I, um, I was kind of underwhelmed by it because I was expecting something a little bit different. But after the second time I watched it, I just really started to love it. And you definitely have to watch after the credits. There's a scene after the credits that's literally like less than five seconds long. But the meaning of it just makes the movie even better so definitely watch that yeah I recommend this movie and as you can see I'm, I'm beginning to put all of my blu-rays that have slip covers inside these protective um, sleeves which I really like I think it makes the the whole movie look better um, and I also do that with my steel books I wish that I could find one that was the right size for my blu-ray digi books because I have I actually have a large collection of blu-ray digi books but the next thing I have here I have two of them and they were sent to me by two friends because they knew that I really wanted this. And I really am so appreciative that they both sent me this. And I'm going to keep both of them and treasure both of them as like an awesome part of my collection. One of my favorite things. And this is my favorite movie in the German steelbook form of Forrest Gump. And one of these you guys know you saw the unpackaging video. It was from Buzz On Man. So thank you very much Stevie. And the other one was from a guy who I... I actually can't think of his um, YouTube username off the top of my head, but I think it's um, something SC Dracula. But I will post links to both of these guys right above each copy of the Steelbook on the video. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend that you check out both of them and and just send him a message and say, hey, thanks for being such a nice guy or something like that. But Buzz On Man makes a lot of videos about Steelbooks and all sorts of other things. He's just a great YouTuber. And this guy has been a viewer of mine. His name's Michael. And I, I just can't think of his exact YouTube username. But I definitely recommend that you guys check out both of them. And thank you guys so much for these. I'm so happy. I'm overjoyed. Okay, the next, the next thing that I have here is a movie that I know is one of 
my friend Ryan Chadaway's favorite films. And I am definitely going to butcher the name of the director. Uh, Francois Truffaut, or some, I, I'm, I'm just kind of guessing. I, I have never heard it said. Well, I'm, actually, I can't say that. I'm sure that Ryan has said it in his videos. And I just have no recollection of how to pronounce it. I'm very bad at pronouncing foreign names. And that's something that plagues many Americans. So I apologize for that. But this movie is very, very good. Very touching film. Um, it's about a boy. I think he's like 12... 11 or 12 years old and he's growing up in um, 1950s France I, I believe and um, I think that's the time period and he's basically just misunderstood um, people think that he's just a hoodlum or a troublemaker um, his teachers and his parents both don't understand who he really is and he's constantly getting in trouble and he just really has a tough time um, with his life his parents really are self-centered and and don't really seem to care too much about him and it's just about his life, and I really, really, um, really like this movie. And I heard that it's kind of, sort of, autobiographical about the director's life. So that's what I read, but I'm not 100% sure. But I, I definitely recommend this film. Um, it is in French with English subtitles, but that didn't bother me at all. Like, I, I actually forgot that I was watching a movie with subtitles after a while. That's what usually happens once you get far enough into the film. So I definitely recommend this one. This is the Criterion Collection Blu-ray. And then the next one I have here is a movie with one of my favorite actors, Kevin Costner. And believe it or not, this is one of his most famous movies, and I have I have actually never seen it until now. It's Field of Dreams, and yes, this is a baseball movie. Um, it also has, um, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting his name. And it doesn't say it on the back, so I'm pretty much screwed. Ah, oh, what is the name? I don't know, it's a name that I totally know and I just can't think of it. The voice of Darth Vader, I'm sorry, I should know that. Um, but anyways, it's about this guy, he's a farmer. He purchases a farm and he, he's growing crops and stuff, trying to make a living. And he, has the, he hears this voice when he's out in his fields telling him, if you build it, they will come. And then later on he has a vision of a baseball field in the middle of his cornfields. And so he sets out and builds this really nice baseball field complete with lights and bleachers and everything and it, everyone thinks he's crazy for building it and that's just where it starts but it's a really good movie a great drama and I, I really enjoyed it a lot um I'm I'm I really like this movie and I'm glad I bought it and this is the 100th anniversary um universal um edition all right and the next thing I have here is by my favorite director Alfred Hitchcock it's Sabotage, and this is the premiere edition. And um, I'm trying to collect all of these. I'm only missing one. I'm missing Young and Restless. Or no, Young and Innocent, it's called. Young and Restless. Come on, Robbie. Um, yeah, Young and Innocent. And that's really one of my most wanted movies for my collection. I've, I cannot find it anywhere for a good price. I've tried purchasing it three different times when I found it for $35 or less. And each time the person shipped me something that was not what it was supposed to be. It was like a bootleg version. And I was able to get my money back each time, thankfully. But it's still frustrating. But as you can see, I have it in this purple case to match the purple coloring. And I've talked about that. All the Premiere collections have a different color scheme. And I found a different DVD case to go with each one. But this is a really good movie. It's about this guy who basically gets kind of roped into um, sabotaging things in his country. I, um, like like basically by a terrorist group and this movie was very controversial when it came out because something happens in the story this, this big thing that you would never expect to happen because it just it still doesn't happen in movies nowadays for the most part because they build up a character and then something happens and I don't want to give away too much but definitely check this movie out if you haven't seen it it's really good all right and the next thing I have here is a Clint Eastwood film um, it's Bronco Billy, and I don't, I don't think, yes, he actually directed this and starred in it. And this is about a guy who has this traveling circus. Uh, it's like a cowboy western, cowboys and aliens type, or cowboys and aliens, cowboys and Indians type thing. And um, Bronco Billy is like this, he's like this really good shooter. Like you can throw up ten plates in the air, and he'll hit them, he'll hit them all. And uh, he does this show where he throws the knives at the girl when she's spinning around, and he gets it like perfect every time. And basically, he's having trouble because his he needs an assistant to help him with it. He needs like a pretty girl to be an assistant, and he's just having trouble keeping an assistant. And um, he ends up meeting this really um, uptight rich woman, 
that is in a tough situation where she has no way she has no access to her money and she's been abandoned like at this little place where bronco billy is and he says that he'll help her get a ride to the next town if she will be his assistant for one night only and so she's she acts as his assistant and she's pretty good at it but she kind of messes some things up on purpose but it's really really good movie has a good romantic little story in between but that's not what it's about um i really like this i i was surprised i didn't think i was going to like it as much as i did it was really good and then i have another um clint eastwood film this is this one was pretty good too but i liked bronco billy better it's white hunter black heart and it's about this guy uh of this filmmaker he's based loosely off john huston and he um he is going to make this really big budget film in africa and basically his he has like this ulterior motive where he really just wants to go on a safari and kill an elephant he's like obsessed he becomes obsessed with killing this elephant to the point where he's not even really making the movie anymore he's he's just too busy doing that and that's basically all that this is about and it's it's pretty good it has good acting in it and it's a decent story i liked it then the next two things that i have here were sent to me by my friend jeffrey and i'll leave a link to his channel right here and I'm, I'm, I, he knew that I had never seen either of these films. They're two 80s films. And I, I actually really enjoyed them. The first one was Clue. And this is based off of the board game, which I've actually never played, if you can believe that. Um, and I know what the game is all about, though. And it, it, this movie is kind of interesting because there's... Basically, it's the whole story of the, the board game. A bunch of rich people in a mansion and people are getting killed off. And they're trying to figure out who did it. And... Um, what what the interesting part of this film is that there were alternate endings filmed for this showing different people actually committing the crime so when you went to see this in the theater i, I was told um each time you could see a different ending so that's kind of really cool and this dvd has all the different endings on it i only watched two of them and i decided after that i should wait and watch different ones each time that i watch the movie so that's what i'm going to do and then the next movie i have here is another kind of a cheesy science fiction film which i actually pr really enjoyed it's crawl and um this star this has uh, a a really young liam neeson in it he plays a he like a secondary role but this is a really kind of weird movie i liked it though it's it's like fantasy slash science fiction it's almost like lord of the rings with star wars technology it, it's really it's really different i enjoyed it quite a bit um, but you have to be into cheesy movies to like it. And I like a little bit of cheese every once in a while. And then the next thing I have here, this movie won Best Picture a few years back. Uh, Slumdog Millionaire. I finally picked it up. I absolutely love this movie. I rented it back when it first came out. And it's about this kid who was being interrogated by the police because he won Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in India. And they don't believe that he really knew all the answers because he got every answer right like i think he got them all right on the first try and so the whole movie is through the interrogation they're showing flashbacks in this kid life of each moment that happened to him where he learned the answer to each of the questions and it's really well filmed directed by danny boyle i definitely recommend this movie if you haven't seen it and then the last thing that i have here is a movie that m night Shyamalan produced but he didn't direct it's devil and I think a lot of you know what this is about. Um, several people are trapped in this elevator and different people in the elevator keep getting killed and the power keeps going out and then when it turns back on, someone's dead and nobody knows who's doing it or why. And it's like a freaky movie, like a typical M. Night Shyamalan. It has a twist ending, but um, it's it has a different feel than any of his other films. And I think that a big part of that is that the music is different. Um, that's the one thing that I missed. I always loved the score that he has in each of his films, and this doesn't have that. But it's still a really enjoyable movie. If you like thrillers, if you like horror movies, if you like M. Night Shyamalan, I think you'll like this, so check it out. So anyways, guys, that's it for my Blu-ray and DVD collection. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, thanks for watching.